Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now I'm gonna keep it as short as possible. Um, you're here in this video because you want a hotfix for this game that refuses to run and constantly keep crashing. Short version is disable all your cores except for the first eight and disable hyper threading. Easy fix and the game will run. Um, so that's my solution and hotfix for this video. If you have a OP system with uh, more than eight cores and hyper threads, then the game will simply not run. So enjoy the rest of the video if you want to see it in more detail on what I've done, what I've tried, and um, I can prove to you that the game is working if you do this. Um, but it's not a solution for long-term use. So anyway, that's the fix. That's literally it. Just reduce your uh, your cores and hyper threading, and uh, yeah, if you disable it, it it will work. So that's all there is. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I will be switching from uh, phone to uh, screen during the video. So my apologies for that if the quality is crap. But you can literally see what I'm doing, what I've tried, and uh, I can literally prove to you that the game is running. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this part of the video. Um, in this little bit I will show you on how to disable a couple of your cores and hyper threading on your computer. So you can actually play the game State of Decay 2 and uh, I will show you exactly what so we just turned on the computer and for this motherboard we're gonna press Dell like spam it like this for some of them it's F2 or a different button but mostly it's Dell or F2 and we will enter the BIOS keep spamming it until you hit that window especially when you have like a fast setup so there we go we have the uh, the BIOS <clears throat> now I'm gonna try to do this as uh, best I can because I'm doing it through a phone and my phone has an issue focusing sometimes so my apologies for that I'm trying my best so what we want to do is you don't want to change anything in these settings. Just leave it as it is. Do not touch any of these settings. We are going to advanced and then CPU config. That's the only one you have to play around in. So as you can see, we have a Intel i9 uh, 7960X doesn't matter what type of CPU you have as long as you reduce the cores and the threads so as you can see I already reduced it to eight cores and eight threads and that's the only thing that will make the game run so you want to go down in the menu come on stupid camera you want to go down in the menu and you want to disable hyper threading so just change that to disable and then we go further down and then we go to active cores and then we just gonna let only these seven or actually these eight because zero is a core as well but it's kind of weird how it counts a so core zero one two three four five and six and seven those are the only ones you need to able so you can see that they are all abled and the rest is all disabled which is quite sad but this is the only way for you to run the game and then it's simply save and exit and that's the only way for you to make the game run now if you want to set it back to normal just revert everything you just did able hyper threading again and able the rest of your course if you're not playing the game like it's stupid it's annoying and um, yeah that, that's the only fix I can give you for now so you will at least be able to play the game but uh, they definitely need to fix that and as I mentioned before I will send this video to the depths as well so they can see what the problem is 
so thank you guys for watching um yeah as i told you and uh, saw from the earlier bit in the video the game is running it's just a pain in the ass to do and uh, it needs to be fixed so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one okay hello everyone and welcome to this video now a lot of people having issues that the game does not start um like it instantly crashes and whatnot i have found a fix but i guarantee you're not gonna like it so i am running a intel core i9 7960x which means it's a 16 core 32 threads cpu and as you can see i am only running eight cores eight threads which means i have disabled hyper threading and i physically disabled a couple of my cores so and i will show you that the game will actually start under these circumstances so normally the game will crash at this point. And I haven't done anything else. I haven't done anything else. I just disabled my cores. Other than that, I haven't even touched any settings. So as you can see, I am in the menu and uh, I can change my settings and whatnot. But I seriously had to reduce my poor CPU to oblivion in order to launch it. Now I will copy paste this um, to uh, to show you that it is the same. Uh, so I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna able my course. Still keep hyper threading disabled, and I'll show you what will happen. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> so. As you probably would have seen it from the uh, phone video, is that I have abled my cores again, and the uh, frets are st or the hyper fretting is still disabled, and I haven't changed anything else, and now the game will probably keep crashing over and over again, which is probably the same problem that you guys all have. As you can see, it will stop working and there's literally nothing you can do about it like that's literally it um let's see um if i reduce steam to a lower infinity that's something i can try um, but i don't think it will make any difference but anyway if it has more than eight cores you're screwed um so yeah I'm going to restart able hyper threading again so you can see that um, even with that turn on it's not going to work. Okay, here we are once again and as you can see this is the original performance of the computer at least on this uh, on this processor. We have 16 cores, 32 threads and the game will not launch at all. It will just keep on crashing and um as you can see that that's literally it there's nothing else to it okay hello everyone and welcome back uh, this is the end of the uh, video as you saw that the game is running on eight cores eight threads anything else above that it will not run it's not a permanent fix but hopefully the developers will fix that um now other than that there's not much you can do you can probably get like an older pc or stuff like that but if you have a monster like me then uh, yeah you will be forced to reduce it um it's not optimal at all and it's not a permanent solution it's just bad and there's literally nothing else i can say about it uh, except for hopefully the developers will figure the shit out and uh, part of my french but uh, it is it's just bad so thank you guys for watching i hope it's useful um i hope you will be able to play the game and uh yeah have fun i would say and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>